music player as well. Is, is it? So, yeah, so I mean, once you've got three things that are bare minimum just to keep Windows alive as soon as it hooks to the internet, you've already used your three applications, so you can't do anything on the internet. You can't even open a browser. Mm. Or if, do, do they exclude their own? Does Internet Explorer count because it's Windows, because it's Microsoft? You know, does um, does Windows Media Center count? Whereas, I, I dare say, Firefox would count, but would IE count? Probably not. And, yeah, and the whole the whole the whole Windows thing is built on one one big one big um, complete design, the ultimate one, and then they just chop off various features to make the different additions. Um, so, sorry, go on. No, I mean, I mean, all I was going to say was, you know, in a world when we're trying to show the the value of Linux, you know, is this price point going to be the the netbook that will, you know, sort of get the market to the, the penetration of the market um, over a, a Windows machine? I, I I don't think it would. I mean, I was just looking at the cost to upgrade the starter version to um, to just the, the premium, whatever you want to call it, and on Amazon it's fifty five pounds. So ironically enough, if you pay exactly the same as you would for this. Jolly Cloud machine, you can get a an upgraded version of Windows 7 on it as well. Um, that a good thing? No, no, it's not certainly not. But what, what the point I'm making is that you know we have we have if we're looking to promote Linux as you know being a very good alternative, um, it has to have a selling point. You know, and having the price this high, I don't think is. Good. You this do is have people who say you should try and sell Linux for a price because of the perception. I was never drawn into the arguments too much, but some people say we have to try and put a price on Linux because people's perception and the way they're brought up is to think that something that's more expensive is necessarily better, even when this thing is very duplicable and it doesn't involve any parts or processing when, to, when you basically make copies of that. Uh, and this is a misconception people have in the context of, of music and things like inventions, especially when you call things intellectual property and you call copyright your song, you call it people stealing songs. And I, I hear people saying stealing songs, and the first thing I say, hold on, it's not stealing, it's it's copying or sharing, depending on the context. And, uh, and when people don't uh, value things as they do, say, Wikipedia, or when they go on the web and they find lots of information for free, they may fall into this trap of thinking, well, it's less expensive, therefore they can, it cannot be sold for a price which is possibly true, especially when there is no marketing involved. So, so yeah. No, I, mean, I, rem- I remember sorry. as well, I remember as well, uh, Microsoft just, as as usual, um, the, um, the the crystal ball, the magic eight ball that Microsoft had must have been running Windows ME or something. Because it, it never saw the, 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 the netbook coming. It never saw the internet coming either. Um, but when the netbook arrived, Microsoft just dismissed that they didn't, they thought, oh, that's just a toy. Um, and it arrived with Linux, and it suddenly, it suddenly took the world by storm. Everyone wanted a netbook, um, and lots of uh, companies got involved. Um, and then Microsoft were left scrambling around thinking, oh, oh no, this is a whole new sector that's coming out. And Linux is in there, right on the ground floor, and we don't have anything to put there. So at the same time as they were trying to shift people onto Vista, and trying to desperately trying to kill off XP, they said, right, uh, we've not, uh, nothing else. Vista has no hope of going on there. Uh, right, anything to hobble netbooks. And one of them was just throw XP on there and get XP out there. Um, and then they start putting the pressure on the, the vendors and saying you can limit, they're limiting the hardware choices. You can't have any more than two gig of RAM. The hard drive size is limited. <clears throat> the, yeah, um, and then they start saying to put pressure on. They they say that um, you know make it harder and harder to buy the Linux version. Uh, the um, when you go onto sites and, and all, yeah, and all, all you could get before would be the Linux versions. Um, now all you can find is Windows. And when you contact the vendors, they say, "Oh, it comes. You can get it with Linux." But only if the handful of shops have them. You need to buy it with Windows. Yeah, well, the real story you have here is not to do with much with Linux. It's more to do with Microsoft trying to ensure people pay for Windows. And the reason they have these limits is to, to limit the uh, specs that make it available. 
for as far well first of all let's start with the pricing points as far as I know in netbooks they went as far as selling it for five dollars I heard from a reliable source in China that would give Windows XP for five dollars a piece and in some cases I heard about having negative price and they would possibly pay uh, I, I heard about Asus being the company they pay to put the Windows instead of of Linux and then celebrating this so-called choice of, of Windows. But what they, they try and do is to ensure that the netbooks don't become too much like notebooks and then also have the uh, sales of Windows ending up around, um, you know, kind of converging around five dollars. And one of the things that um, that they still suffer from is the fact that the devaluation as far as OEMs are concerned, they don't think they need to pay so much for uh, windows to be available. They get very much spoiled and used to very low pricing. Uh, and now they have the tablets, which I'm very happy about, because this is where you have the ARM-based computers and you mostly have Android giving them a, a heart, giving them a headache. Uh, and, 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 and Android is, is, is one of those platforms they cannot compete with based on uh, of, 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 of the size or the performance, things like that when it comes to mobile devices and they think how about bringing the mobile platform they have to the tablets market because it's just too bloated. Yes, the more, the more expensive the, the computer, the, the, the easier it is for them to hide a decent cut on the price of Windows. When a computer, uh, an entry level computer with like a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars, whatever, then they could easily put, include like a hundred, hundred and 50 in that for, for Windows, and no one would notice. As that's come right down, and you can get a decent quality laptop for 500 um, that's perfectly capable of doing a lot of stuff that people would want to do, that £150 is suddenly much harder to hide. Uh, and then when you come down to a netbook price, uh, to maybe 250 there's no way, no way that you could ever get £100 of that on a Windows license. There's just no way you could do it. Well, one more thing I, uh, I want to see. You talked about Jolly. Uh, this is more of a personal opinion, and I'm sure lots of people will disagree with me, but I'm kind of concerned about the uh, reclassification or rebranding or uh, re-philosophization of, of Linux and trying to construct very constrained, very locked down platforms based on Linux, which they don't even call Linux anymore. So in the case of the Jolly Cloud and Jolly Book, they kind of use the Jolie as the, uh, I think Tariq is the, is the founder of this company, which tries to market it as, well, this is not Linux, this is the this is our OS, this is our uh, platform. And it reminds me to a certain extent of Ubuntu, which emphasizes the Ubuntu brand and trying to brand things as their own, and then you have Android. Android barely gives any mention to Linux inside, and Android also doesn't... Uh, well, should be careful, but they kind of annoy quite a few Linux developers. They don't use the GNU libraries because they don't really, as far as I know, they don't really want to use much GPL license software. They want to kind of be in control of things. Uh, so you have all these platforms, and we call them Linux, you know, even uh, WebOS, which runs on the Palm Tree, it's, it's Linux based. And lots of things are Linux based, but then we have to ask ourselves what's the where is the freedom? Where where is the uh, company philosophy that's supposed to go with the with the uh, with the well, what we used to perceive as Linux is now called something else. So people don't expect Android to be the very hackable and very free platforms. Uh, the, the free platform. If you think of Google when they hear of Android, and they think about it's kind of a uh, a robot thing. You know, the, the logo of the you know, uh, any have you have you spoken to people about Android? People who use Android without knowing it's Linux. I, I mean, most most of the people I know who use Android haven't got a clue it's Linux. And if I just go back to what you were saying about Ubuntu, I think this is where mine and Roy's view um, differs quite greatly because uh, I'm certainly for the branding of Ubuntu, um, and if that part of that branding is not mentioning the word Linux. Um, I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing. The reason being, and the reason I justify that, is because the name Linux often um, scares a lot of people. Now, the, the reasoning behind that scaring, um, I'm not going to say, because obviously that could be a, a multitude of reasons, but I think that uh, splitting up the market um, when you've got a monopoly like Microsoft, regardless of what people go to, it may be a closed-in Linux derivative. 
but if it's if it's splitting up the monopoly that uh, Microsoft has, then ultimately it's a good thing, and it introduces people to choice. And I think just like how Firefox drew people away from Internet Explorer and then subsequently onto other browsers because they saw that there was an alternative to be had 